Rest assured, you have not been clickbaited. We have a third throw meta formation now in this game being used at the upcoming World Cup qualifiers, and that is none other than the 4 2 1 3. Let's get into it. That is right, the 4 2 1 3. These are pro player foot with Ethan's custom tactics. And this isn't just one of those tactics that a pro player has thrown together and made a video on or anything like that. These are the exact custom tactics he's going to be using at the World Cup qualifier this weekend in Sweden. These are literally the tactics he's starting with. Not the 4 3 2 1, not the 4 4 1 1, but the 4 2 1 3. So, kicking things off with a defensive style that is going to be balanced. His defensive width is 40, exactly the same as what we like to run with, and his depth is 68, so very aggressive. Pretty much auto-pressing as much as you can without introducing the offside traps, the automatic ones, that is. Build-up play chance creation is balanced direct passing. We expect nothing else from a set of pro players' competitive tactics. Width at 40, and then players in the box is at a modest 5 just to help with the build-up because there are a lot of players on balance in these tactics. Corners and free kicks, foot with Ethan actually runs 2-2, two, two, I believe. However, I just run 2-1, but regardless, just go with your personal preference on these if you are going to give these tactics a go. Before we get into the player instructions, I will show you guys the sort of players he uses in each position to get the most out of this formation. I've basically built the closest thing to his with the players I have. So in goal, whoever works. Right back, I'm using a Raujo. He uses like a, basically a centre back as his stay back wing back. So Rudiger is a common one at the moment. A Raujo is another really good option. However, he will switch the left back and right back around depending on which side pro players are attacking with Haaland. So that does change depending on who he's playing. But nonetheless, your more defensive wing back has to be a centre back with aerial plus. Your two centre backs, obviously at least one with aerial plus, preferably both. Very fast, just basically the best you can get in these positions. Your overlapping wing back, which will be the left back, unless you need to reverse it to stop Haaland. That's just someone that's very capable going forward because they are going to be creating that overload in the attack. He has his more defensive orientated central defensive midfielder on the left hand side. He uses Rodri, I'm using Balak in this setup. Next to them, he uses Vitinia. So it's your more ball playing 5 5 sort of capable player on the ball. For his cam, I believe he uses Patea, so someone that's very competent going forward, but still has some defensive capabilities. Your right winger, that is where he plays Haaland, so this is your aerial plus threat. Striker, he uses R9, so a 5-5, very capable on the ball striker. And on the left side, I believe he uses Vinicius Jr., so just an out-and-out -out winger. 5-5 if you can get it, but generally just anyone that is like a true skillful winger here will do the job. Play instructions, the goalkeeper is just the default. The right back is stay back and inverted. Now, I asked him specifically why he uses, uses inverted. And he basically just said it was so he, that the right back just talks him more like a centre back on the defence. Now, he's probably looked into this more than me. So, we'll take him at his word. However, when it's called run type and it says when making an overlapping run, they'll go on the inside for more central support. I just don't see how that really affects his defensive position. But I assume he's looked into this. And to be honest, in-game, it's not like it makes anything worse. So that is what he's using on the right back. The two centre-backs are just the default. Your left back is join the attack and overlap. Not balance. I don't know why he's using join the attack. Maybe he just wants them always bombing down that side. Maybe he's going to be playing a little bit more direct with these tactics. But it is join the attack overlap, not balanced. Both of your central defensive midfielders are cut passing lanes, cover centre, not either of these are stay back they are both balanced cut passing lanes cover center your central attacking midfielder is stay forward get into the box the cross and drift wide i'm assuming the drift wide is just to help the link up play on those wider areas unlike a 4-3-2-1 this formation shape is just generally a bit wider so i'm guessing that just helps with the link up play a little bit more his striker is stay central get in behind and stay forward just occupying the two center backs the right winger is, so this is your aerial plus threat, don't forget, is come back on defence, stay wide, get in behind and get into the box for cross. And then the left winger is the same, except the chance creation is cut inside, not stay wide. I'm guessing that's to tuck them in a bit so there's room for the overlapper on this side to then get in those flanks. So these tactics are very busy. There is a lot going on, which instantly makes me think Ethan probably wants to use these in a specific way. He's not probably just 
going with it and just creating with whatever's in front of him. I'm assuming he's probably forcing a certain style of play with how he's formatted these just because there is so many instructions. So today I will not be showing myself using these tactics even though I have tried them because I don't want to give you guys the wrong approach with these. What I will be doing is I will link in the description below the Twitch stream for this weekend's World Cup qualifier that Ethan will be playing so you can see him himself with his pro team with these pro tactics actually using these so you can see the man who's put these together himself actually using them the way they're supposed to be used i'll be watching him as well just to see how he does get the most out of this formation so i urge you guys to do the same be sure to drop ethan a follow on his socials as well which are all linked in the description below overall what i will say is when i did play with these they are very offensive you get a lot of numbers forward i can see he's running the five players on the box literally because of just how many players you've got here on balance you've got an attacking four two center mids on balance and a wing back on join the attack so you're pretty much only keeping three people back and you're letting everyone else get involved on the attack so he's got the five just so the dms don't overcommit. i think with them being on balance but it does flow really well there are a lot of options in game however with the way i play i feel like i'm probably not utilizing the aerial plus person on the wing as much as ethan will so i'm curious to see how he brings them into play because with the aerial plus i wouldn't have thought you would want them on stay wide i thought you would want them sort of getting involved a little bit more so i'm curious to see how he utilizes these like i say check him out this weekend give him your support in the qualifier that will be held in sweden over the course of this weekend and yeah i'm just really excited to see how he gets the most out of these but these are the tactics Give them a go. Let me know what you guys think of them. Let me know if you have any success with them as well. A little bit of a different video today, guys, with the tactics not being my own, but an actual pro players to showcase. Thank you to Ethan for letting me share the tactics with you guys. He was very gracious in saying that I could make a video on these. But like I say, if you want to know how to get the most out of them, I urge you just to check out Ethan using them because you're not going to get a better idea than watching the man himself use these tactics. If you did make it this far in the video, though, guys, as always, I really appreciate your time. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your bell on. Take care, guys.